Hi, my name is Kat O'Connor. I'm here at my exhibition of paintings, Luminous Will, at the Worcester Center for Crafts. This is my second solo exhibit here in Worcester, and uh, Worcester Center for Crafts is a gallery that I've been looking at for a long time. I love the space, I love the place, the community, um, it's just a great place to have a show. So this is, has been a goal of mine to have a show here. Actually, something that started for me about 20 years ago. Um, I took a trip to Texas, Marfa, Texas, um, with my husband and my father-in-law, and we went to the Chinati Foundation, which was Donald Judd's um, museum, essentially of contemporary art. And it um, was a trip that I'd wanted to do for a long time. Um, it was an amazing trip, but the thing that I loved the most was actually sitting on the side of the pool after swimming at night. There's no one around. It's the middle of the desert of the desert. So it was, the pool was lit up. The bats were skimming off of it. And that just started everything. That's what I really remember about the trip. Um, and ever since, I've been working on images with people at night in pools, um, poetry using the same imagery, and now the swimmers. something that I imagine I'll have an idea um, well, what if I ask the swimmer to do this even though they're natural poses in a sense I always go out with my models and say this is kind of what I'm looking for um, could you you know dive up from the bottom of the pool could you look away from the camera could you um, maybe turn around so that I can see what you look like when you're moving away from me um, so they're fairly specific in what I want to happen, but then you never know what, you know, the, the way that the body moves in water is just completely different all the time. So it's always a surprise what I come up with. <laughs> it seems to be challenging all the time, but I think I've gotten better at being um, less specific about what the piece has to read as and more specific with um, how the water functions in the whole painting in the image um, and how it moves your eye. So I change things around a lot and that's been more successful for me than trying to um, exactly duplicate what water does. I start with the expanse of it. I think about all paintings, even though these are um, realistic to a point, as being abstractions. So that when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about the design, the direction that the water moves, um, that the value of the darks and the lights move. Uh, and that's really what captures me about the bubbles. And of course, you can kind of fake with bubbles where you put them. <laughs> they can do what you want them to do um, in the painting. A lot of them are self-portraits. Um, they're not really intended as self-portraits, I'm just available a lot, <laughs> so I end up using my, my own image. I went to uh, taught a class in Greece this past summer, and quite a few of these images are from that trip, and it ended up being um, students that were in the class that I was teaching uh, myself. So anybody who's available and willing is, and anybody who has a pool is also. <laughs> It's always nice to have a pool. So Worcester Center for Crafts, of course, is a long established organization. Um, I teach for Worcester State University as well. So um, they have a collaboration together where our studios are here in the Craft Center. And it has made such an amazing difference in 
um, the quality of the studios that we have for Worcester State students and also bringing them into a more general Worcester community than they get on the main campus. Yeah, I've had quite a few artists talk to me and say, you know, I've also been looking at that gallery. <laughs> what do I do to, to talk to them? And I think um, with Honey Hass especially, she has really um, dedicated herself to making this a bigger thing than it used to be. So that, yes, it's supportive of crafts and crafts people, um, but also a little bit broader audience, bringing those people, um, art people into craft sections as well. Um, and I think she's incredibly successful with that.